Good evening, everyone. Welcome to MW Youth Program. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. We are so glad that you are here with us this evening. And at the moment, we have about 122 people. And welcome to MW Live Teaching tonight. It's going to be amazing. And my name is Mercy, and this is Pastor David here. Hello. And we prepared something amazing tonight. And we're going to talk about something that has been ignored in our culture at this moment. And and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be a blessing to your life. Yes. Yeah? So. Thank you so much. And we welcome everyone, all of you tonight, uh, wherever you're watching from. Uh, we just put it down, the message. And uh, you're just tuning in. And some people watching from Not the Girl. And good evening to you. And uh, some people watching from Malaysia. Yes. Hello. And uh, some people watching from wherever you are okay singapore we have it yeah yes. is anyone watching from um america just let us know where you're watching from or there melbourne or in australia <laughs> please let us know in the comment we would love to welcome you yes yes from yeah. Yangon, yeah, people watching from Yangon and Alone Township, uh, people watching from uh, all over the place. We welcome, we, we have people from Pien Ulue. Yeah. Good to see you, nice to see you again. Yes. Hey, we have, oh, yes, this is new. We have someone from Falam, yes, and good to see you. And uh, who else? Let me see. Yeah. yeah, please let us know in the comment where you're watching from, which city, which country are you watching oh, us from. Please let us know. We have know. someone from Thailand. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. yes. Yeah, good to see you. <laughs> yes, we have someone watching from Eugenia. And uh, hello. Hello, Debbie. <laughs> good to see you. Right. Okay, who yeah. else? Oh, we have oh and food. one thing is make sure that you share this live teaching. Um, if, if you can share with your friends and family, That's that would right. be amazing. Yes, yes, yes. you got to share. Um, we have about 144 people now, so that should be 144 shares, right? Yeah. So we have someone watching from Mandalay. Good to see you. We have someone watching from Yango and and look at this. Mm. There's someone watching from Sydney. Yeah, <laughs> good to see you, Jones. And, yes, and good Singapore to see you, well. Jasmine and from Singapore. Blessing. Yay, from Singapore. blessing. Hello, You're blessing. watching. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Good Kai. Wow. So we have someone watching from Good Kai. And Andy Betty watching Welcome, from Auntie. Singapore. Oh, yes. we have someone watching from, from China. China. Yes, great. Awesome. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for writing where you're watching us from. And yes. one from Insane, yes. North Carolina. Carolina? Yep, yeah, and yes. Denmark. Denmark. Oh, wow, Singapore. Yes, Yango. Yeah, yes. And this is Sue. Houston, there we go. We have someone from America. That must be Ali. Hey, good morning I to know. you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. so much for tuning in. Yes. Yeah, Kamayu. We have someone from Mingalado. We have someone from USA. USA. Which part of USA are you from? Are you the red state or are you the blue state? <laughs> we want to know that. Okay. All right. We have someone watching from Perth in Thailand and again from USA mm. and a young girl we have a lot of people from young girl right yeah yes hey we have someone Tong good to see you okay. and James you're watching from Malaysia. Malaysia good to see you we just noticed that you just got back here yeah good to see you welcome hey uh, we have someone from Netherlands Europe right yes. right okay we have an announcement right mm. yes, yes. What, so, what are we gonna do okay um, we're thinking about something better for all of you guys, mm -hmm. which is um, the time. Yeah, the time? the time will be better for you guys. Let's so ask them whether it is a good idea. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So we're thinking of changing the time yeah. of this youth program, especially for um, Australia and yeah. for um, United States. We're thinking about you guys because um, it will be too early for USA. It will be a bit late for Australia. That's so right. we're thinking of changing the time going forward. Yeah, so going forward. So yeah. it might be 
good for all of us. Mm, uh, certainly, yeah. it would be good for us uh, yes. because Monday we we go to work and yeah, like schools, for example, or, like yeah. uh, a lot of people miss out this program from Melbourne mm. because it's already 10 p.m. Yeah, for Melbourne them. Is one hour so ahead of understandable us. Yeah. that they they're not joining us tonight. Yeah. But yeah, it would be great that they could join us. Mm. And what about Zoom meeting? Yeah, yeah, something that you are interested in, let us know. Instead of yeah, doing this us. live, yes. we're thinking of changing the time and changing, um, doing with Zoom meetings, mm -hmm. which would be more personal. You can talk to us, we can talk to you. If you have any questions, yes. we can you know, communicate. So yes, yes. I think that, that would be good. That would but be awesome. Let us know in the comment whatever you're thinking. Yes, and we would love to do the best for you yes, guys. Down yes, G, welcome. I miss home, Shan State. Oh, yes. Yeah. And Chango, Michina from Burma. Oh, we have someone watching from Melbourne. Yes. Victoria. All right, <laughs> we miss Melbourne a lot. Yeah? Yes, we do, this especially one. this time. This one. It's really hot here. It's really someone humid miss, here. Yes, yeah. someone miss Melbourne a lot. We, we have someone watching from Insane. Fort, Fort Wayne. Wayne and Django, Tachile. Wow, welcome. It's it's Global Church, isn't it? Last yeah. show. Wow. Michina. Michina. Uh, yeah, 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 I think mi, it's mi, mi Jin. Mi Jin? Yeah. Mi Jin? Yeah. Is it the same thing? No, I think I it's a different so. time. Yeah. All right. Don't you have old program? <laughs> <laughs> Only you? Well, okay. Yeah, you can talk hey, about it. Yeah. I think you are young at heart. Yeah, <laughs> Every, everyone is still very young at heart. And uh, it, it may be youth program, but I believe that it's going to be all of for all uh, of you. Relevant for every one yes. of you guys. Not Carolina, yeah. 6.05 a.m. Wow. Good morning to good you. Morning. Oh, wow. Thank That's, you so much for tuning in. Yes, very good. Yes. What it, what it, uh, yes. <laughs> Parkan, we have someone from Yango. Nice to see you. Kosopipi, good to see you. I agree on Zoom meeting, okay. Uh, we have someone watching from Jacksonville, Yango, Melbourne, mm -hmm. right, Melbourneian. Yeah, how do you find the new uh, freedom? Freedom, <laughs> yes. You've been freedom locked down, down for like yeah. four months or so. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we, we feel for you, mm -hmm. and we are so glad that you are free again. So let us know how you how you finding your new found freedom, okay? <laughs> and uh, Texas, yes. hello from Netherlands, Melbourne, Sunshine West. Hallelujah! Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you all. All right. So oh, we have someone watching from yes. Django. Yes. Awesome. Caleb, That's we great. welcome you. Yeah, well, and we got some questions. Um, mm -hmm. Remember what we did last month? <laughs> oh, it's a long time. It's, it's a long time. It seems yeah. like a long time, but yes. I want to remind you again today that we last month we did the soft method of reading Bible. Yes. So uh, we would like to know how you went through with all these um, using soft method. And so please let us know if you're still using soft method reading yes. Bible. Yeah. yeah. Which so. Bible verse or, hmm. Bible or chapter have you been reading? And since you last learn from us and yeah. uh, we, we would love to hear from yeah. you write we to us we okay? haven't write to we us. haven't catch up with them yet whether they oh, finish yes. the book of james oh yeah so, that yeah. would be that would be good to <laughs> see that there's right? something that they need to answer so yeah <laughs> yeah so how are you getting on with the uh, uh bible reading and let us know what we can help you and you know how we can help you yeah. all right so yes so good to see you all all right okay yeah <laughs> Sunday school um, well we don't know yet at the moment uh, we do teach a Sunday school program hey Jackie good to see you from Melbourne uh, yeah I did the soap method blessing okay. the saying yes I'm using the soap method is it so, helpful to you when uh, you're using yeah. soft method? Let us know. Yes, someone How many of you are July, doing? Uh, huh? July, no, actually in China. From China. Ju July, July. Yes, yeah. yes, July watching from China. China. And we have Daniel watching from Israel. Israel. Yeah, amazing, wow. Amazing. Yes. yes, shalom to you. Hey, hey, there we go. So good to see you all. And yeah, uh, yeah I mean, we might probably do Zoom meeting. Mm -hmm. but I think Zoom meeting has a limit of like 100 people or Correct. so. So we, um, yeah, but we, if you want to participate in Zoom meeting, yeah, we you can you can sign up for that. Yeah. And then we, yeah. Will, we will broadcast that yeah. uh, to, to other people as well. Yeah, okay? that would so, be good. So we're thinking of doing it maybe um, fortnightly. 
Oh, that would be awesome. Right, right. fortnightly. So fortnightly would mean like every, every two, two weeks. weeks. Yeah, yeah. Be because it's a monthly program, and we we felt that mm. we might probably push a little bit more For and the, do. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Yes. So <laughs> that would be two programs per month. Yeah. yeah. Instead of one. So one because yeah. we feel like we are a bit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, distant from youth. So we we would love to catch up with you all, yes. and we would love to hear from you guys. So we're thinking about Zoom meeting. Yeah, changing the time changing as well. The time as well. Okay, so, so this yeah. time is a little bit late for us. It's nine. Is at the moment it's nine thirteen p.m. Yeah, and so is is late for Melbourne as well. Yeah. So we want to probably move forward a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe we would do like one thirty. PM Myanmar time. Is yeah. it any good for you? Let us know. Okay, yeah. let us know. Uh, maybe we 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 should do poll on uh, our Facebook page. Maybe they, oh, yeah. they can they just can, they can vote. Make, oh, yeah. Okay, that would all be right. Great, so yeah, we are thinking about yes. it, but uh, it's all for you. So let us know if any good to you. If not, then we will keep up the same time as this, right now. Right? Yes. Okay. Awesome. All right. What else? Okay, I think pretty much that's the question that we would like to ask you yes. tonight. So please let us know. Okay. okay. <laughs> Shall we start the program? I think so. Yes. Let's start, start the program. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us at MWTV, Myanmar Worship Television Program. You are about to hear the Word of God, and I would like you to prepare your heart to receive the Word of God. And also prepare your Bible and prepare your notebook to take some notes. Thank you so much for choosing to listen. We believe God will speak to you today. And here's a message from Pastor David Kim. Have a great time. Okay, welcome back everyone. We're going to start our lesson tonight and it's something that is being ignored in our culture nowadays, in our society right now. So we would love to talk to you guys and we would love to hear from you guys as well. So please tune in and make sure that you respond us through our, uh, your comment as well, okay? That would be amazing. So before we start anything, I would love to pray for every single one and make sure tonight lesson is so important so make sure you have your bible and you have your notebook to take some note that will always helpful to your remembrance okay yes all right shall we pray yes please father god thank you so That's much for this evening lord yes. your grace and your That's mercies on you every morning and thank you that we are alive today that means you have a great plan and purpose for our life and lord father god we thank you so much that you have given us all the blessing you have given us everything that we need and lord this night we commit our time we commit yes, everything lord. into your hand father god we're going to teach this lesson about honoring and I pray that Holy Spirit of God you're going to do only what you can do Lord I pray that every single one that is watching right now their life will be never before their life will be changed forever through yes, this Lord. message and Amen. I pray Holy that. Spirit of God you're going to yes. do only what you can do Father yes, God Lord Bless have your way right Lord Lord hallelujah thank you Jesus thank right you Jesus Amen hallelujah. thank you Jesus Amen. Lord we commit everything into your hand and we pray in the mighty majestic name of Jesus and everyone say together amen 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 amen, amen, amen. amen. okay so we're gonna start we, we choose the topic on honor. honor right so honor is so so important yet it's the most ignored topic the most ignored thing in our society why do you sadly. think that Okay, I've been thinking about honoring and then what I come up with is, is the lack of honor is from self-righteous. So I think like that, yeah. Okay. In, in other words, like... We so basically mean like you think you are better than someone? Exactly. So, because okay. in terms of education, in yes. terms of languages, in terms yeah. of technology, nowadays young people especially, they think they are better than anyone, everyone, especially their parents. Yeah. So therefore they choose not to obey. Yeah. That means they are choosing to dishonor dishonor yeah okay. in, in other words they're using their human rights like okay. i'm right i'm always right you know right. like don't touch my rights okay. i have my so you are putting yourself a boundaries yeah so that people cannot really um step into it so right. if they step into it like you are so sensitive that you like freak out and you you are you turn into yourself like a defensive mode right so therefore we become lack but the bible actually talk about honor isn't it yeah of course yeah. So, so tonight hmm. this is all about how to show honor yeah I, i'm guilty of all those same. those people as well okay hmm. so uh, 
young people, we are not just, you know, beating on you because the yeah. honor, you know, we, we, you know, we are still young, but when we were very young, we, teenagers. yes, teenage years, <laughs> we always think that we know you know better than anyone, anyone else for yeah. that reason we disobey our parents our mm. teachers and uh, people around us and that has consequences in, in my opinion mm. and uh, the bible very clear about that yeah. so tonight you know that the honor honor show showing the honor to someone yeah. is very important yeah that yeah. is the most ignored in our society sadly but Let's claim back that those honor. Yes. Yeah. We we're gonna give honor <laughs> to those that are due to be honored. Yeah. So let's choose that one. So let's go on to our lesson tonight. Yeah, sure. So first of all, we mm. spell H O N O U R mm. instead of H O N O R. So <laughs> for, for American. Americans, sorry about that. <laughs> Your spelling, uh, you might not put U, but uh, we sp we go with the British spelling. So uh, H O N O U R, <laughs> honor. You know. So it's the same thing yeah. so all right so every single you know this is what i think mm. every culture has an you know it has an honor yeah. you know um a way so, of showing honor yeah a yeah. way of showing honor it may be different to country to country yeah, that's so true. as a Burmese, as an asian we have our culture right mm -hmm. and to show honor so yeah. uh, it may be different to western culture definitely so let's say in japan you know they honor by bow like you know yeah, a little bow, bow. Down. yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like just 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 a little bit there yeah and or in maybe korea they they shake a hand yeah. and they make sure that you hold it okay. you know you're shaking hands yeah. all right so okay. that's mean that's honor if you okay. don't do that you kind of dishonoring oh, yeah I see. so yeah. but if you go to you know asian house especially Burmese house <laughs> you take off your shoes yes. right yes. so that's an honor that we show it to people but I mean, in, in Burmese culture, what is our showing respect and honor to other people? Maybe you do like that, like Minglava. Minglava when you're greeting yeah. people, yeah. like, yeah, you show your honor like yeah, that, isn't it? Show your honor, take yeah. your shoes off. Like physical form yes. of showing honor. Yeah. We're talking about physical form of, yeah. And also, you, you know, like you walk before people the elderly people mm -hmm. you kind of like bow and yes. like you don't walk like that you yeah. kind of like so yeah. that's our way of showing honor yes. but we want to especially you know want to teach you yes. uh, what honor means and what does the bible talk about it yes. why is it so important yes. that's what we are going to be learning tonight okay amazing. so amazing right let's read a, a passage together so mark chapter 6 verse 1 to 6 it's going to be a very short one okay so a uh, prophet without honor so that was uh, actually about jesus mm. and his hometown nazareth um, so let's read it together uh, jesus left there and went to his hometown accompanied by his disciples when the sabbath came he began to teach in the synagogue synagogue is like a church for jewish people he began to teach in the synagogue and many who heard him were amazed where did this man get these things they ask what's this wisdom that has been giving him what are these remarkable miracles he is performing isn't this the carpenter now they started to recognize who jesus is hmm. isn't this mary's son and the brothers of James, Joseph, Judah, and Simon, and his sister here with us, and they took offense at him. You know, basically wow. they say, "Hey, this is a guy that we went to the kindergarten. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, this is a guy that we played what's, football what's together." What's different about this guy? Yeah, what what's so special about him? You mm -hmm. know, he's just one of us anyway. Mm -hmm. So that's where this happened. So, mm. verse 4, Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own town, among his relatives, and in his own home. Wow. So, this is, this is a statement that Jesus mm. is making. A prophet is not without honor, except in, in his, his own, own town, town. Yeah. among his relatives, and in his own home. Wow. So, chapter 5, uh, verse 5, this is... This is amazing verse here. Mm. He could not do. Wow. Now he he he's saying mm. he like he does not want to do. It mm. say he could not do. 
any miracles there except lay his hands on a few sick people and heal them. He was amazed at their lack, lack of, of faith. faith. Wow. So think about mm. it. So in other translation, it say their yeah. unbelief. Mm. So lack of faith, unbelief. This is what happened. Yeah. So let me talk about without honor. Okay. So without honor mean no honor or dishonor. So mm. what does it mean? Well, it's basically mean uh, atimos. 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 Everyone say it together. Atimos. atimos. Okay. So atimos, the words used in the Bible called atimos, it basically mean to dishonor. Oh, this is amazing. The the definition hmm. to treat as common or as ordinary. Wow. <laughs> so to basically, treat they treat Jesus like oh yeah. Yeah, it's just a common person. Yeah. Yeah. What's the different about him? Yeah. Why? So yeah. What that is, is the danger of our life. Exactly. When we read that passage, everyone listen carefully. That is the danger part that we are dealing now in our society as oh, well. Exactly. Because when you think, when you see someone, and then you don't see their greatness anymore, like mm. you become familiarity. Oh. So that familiarity yeah. is very dangerous for nowadays because so. yeah like you you become normalized you become neutralized yeah with everything you don't get any excitement you don't expect anything anymore that is where we fall down in yeah, our society so. and yeah. especially when with God you know exactly. like when we see God it's like oh yeah God will be always be there for me mm -hmm. you know uh, he's always there he always yeah. loves me and so that's true Yes. He will be always always there and yeah. always love us. Mm. But the danger is that we don't see him as yeah. God, God or anymore. so special. Yeah. We treat him like, you know, common. Common. So yeah. yeah? So yes. what is honor? Hey, let's let's learn about honor. So honor basically means it's not time, okay? T I M E is Tin Mei. Say Tin Mei. Tin Mei. Okay. Tin so the word used in there in Greek is Tin Mei. So basically mean to value respect or highly esteem that's very important mm. so when i look at you highly esteem so yes. okay so to treat as precious weighty or valuable okay. yeah so that is very important for us so mm. okay my question is do you want just ordinary marriage or do you just want ordinary life or do you just want you know just mm. normal ordinary you know? No. No? No, we don't want it. We okay. want the best. Wow. Yes. Then you start, you need to start honoring people. Wow. So, mm. you know, our marriage, we don't want just normal, yes. ordinary or yeah. common. Yeah. So, what we need to do is, is we need to honor, honor each other. Each other. Right. Even in a parents and children relationship, yeah. the same thing. You think like, oh, mom is there, always doing that. And, you know, like, oh, dad. We I take mean, it for we, granted. Exactly. We yeah. take it for granted. And therefore, we don't show respect anymore. Like, we, yeah. uh, this is the same thing. This has happened the same thing. Yes. So, you don't get any excitement anymore. That is where the danger is. Like, when you don't see that person, whatever they do, for you you don't see that value anymore that is the danger part that you don't show honor anymore for example yes. your mom and dad work for you you know every day yeah. but then you know food on the table you think that just happened like that yeah <laughs> someone just drop it there you know no yeah but no, no they, work they work so hard but you don't cook. appreciate anymore yes. that is where the downfall becomes so yes that is the danger part so familiarity and normalization that's a common thing is quite dangerous that's yeah. why the bible is really clear Clearly indicating that yeah. God even God cannot do any miracle where exactly. there is no belief. You know, when you don't honor, that means you don't have a faith anymore. You don't That's have the faith. same thing, yeah. isn't it? True. That's where the Bible talk about. Verse five is, yeah. is a very sad verse. I mm. would say, you know, Jesus is God in flesh. Okay, he's, he's he's the Almighty God. Yeah, but he could not do any miracles. Right, so he only you know like do a few sick people heal and yeah. like other places. Oh my, you know you won't believe it. He just raised the dead. He, he just healed many sick. he yeah. healed like he he you know he opened the blind eyes. He yes. made the lame walk. Mm. Oh, many miracles like amazing, never yeah. seen before. Yeah, but in Nazareth, 
This is what happened. He could not do. It's not that, that he don't have a power. Yeah. You know, it's not that he doesn't have. Yeah. You know, he 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 lose his power. It mm. is more like it is depend on your faith. Exactly. It depends on how honor you are. Yeah. So lack of honor. Yeah. God cannot do miracle. Miracles. Okay. Yeah. So if you mm. don't put honor, God's not gonna put miracles. That's wow. it. That's very important. Yeah, that's quite scary. That's why we need to talk about honor. That's why we choose the topic tonight, honor, because yeah, it is so important. Yeah. Especially young people, I want you to get this message. It's gonna change your life forever. Amen. God wants you to honor every single one that you see. God wants you to honor your parents. God wants you to honor every every single one, not yeah. just about your rights, uh, not just about you know self promoting and anything that is coming yeah. with you. It's all about honoring. So we're going to talk about more about it. Yeah. yeah? So yeah. there are four groups of people that we want you to honor. Okay. So that's the four groups that we want to. We need to honor. Number one yes. is honor your parents. Okay. Yeah. So this that's is it. As simple as yeah. that. Nothing changed. <laughs> Exodus twenty verse twelve. It's in the Bible. Moses wrote about this. Honor your father. And your mother, so that you may live long. Okay, so there's a promise attached to it. You may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. All right. So we need to honor our parents. You know, we mm. wish we wish that mm. we still have our parents. All right. Yes. So I lost my parents when I was 13, and uh, 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 so did. You know, Pastor Mercy, she lost her parents and a lot yeah. when she was very young. Yeah. And so now, at the point where we don't have a parents and mm. you know we we have auntie and uncles and yeah. yes, we need to show honor to them. But yes. you know, I believe that you guys are still very young and your parents are still with with you guys. Yes. And hear hear me this, okay? If you honor. Your parents, you will live long. Mm. This is what the Bible says. Yeah, that's, you that's will a promise from God. Yes. Yes. Oh, so, you know, there are many times when I look back, when I read this passage of the Bible, there are many times I wish that I could honor more about uh, to the people that look after me. But you know, like I, I know that as we, when you are young, you think you are always right, and you know, you you, you have that rebellious spirit that I can do whatever or I can achieve anything I want, you know, something like that. So sometimes you kind of like uh, turn away from your parents or your guardian's advices. And yeah. you know, like at this stage in my age right now, when I look back, you know, like I have, I remember whatever I did to them in verbally or in action, you know, uh, I feel sorry. Therefore, yeah. like the last time when I talked to them on the phone, the last time when I met them, I said, sorry, please forgive me for everything yeah. I have done in my life to you, to dishonor you, to, to show disrespectful to you. I have to, I have to commit it. Yeah. This is where we need to learn to, you know, really show our respect and honor. Because yeah. when you're young, you think you're right all the time. But when you look back now in my age, at this stage, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that I realized that, you know, my parents or my guardians, like my auntie uncles and everyone that's surrounding me that whoever they give me advices yeah. they were right they were right and all they said all they did was the benefit for my good yes. so I realized that that's why when the Bible said about like honor your father and mother they may not have the best education mm. they may not know everything you especially, know like you yeah especially yeah. in the third, third nation like mm. like maybe you are in America and your English is much better than your parents yeah. that doesn't mean that you dishonor them. Yeah. You know why? Because they may not speak English like you do mm. or they may not have the right education like you do but one thing for sure they know how to get you to America. Yeah. They know how to get you to someone better. Okay? Yeah. So their heart is to give you a better things in life. Mm. All right? Creating a better life for you. Yeah. So for that today you just need to honor them. If yes. you don't yeah. Just go. That's the right yeah, thing to do as well. The right thing to do, and if if you haven't done it, and this is the right time that you go and say sorry, mom and dad, and I, you know, I should not be yeah. treating you the way I am. 
I'll be more patient in the future. Okay. Mm. So and they say the son of Solomon, he yes. he he had that problem, right? Yeah. So it is in the First Kings, and we're not going to read any more. But I'm just briefly talk to you guys. It's yeah. in First Kings chapter 12 verse 7. Um, it's after King Solomon died, his son Rehoboam he became a king. So when the um, people come to him and talk about like, um, you know. Um, Take the take the yoke out of our shoulder. One day, mm. talk about like that, and so basically he, mean tax. Yeah, so he yes. the, Solomon taxed them a lot of money, mm -hmm. and so basically they they came and say, "Hey, yeah. can you have a tax card? You know, yeah. like lower tax, lower the tax, or lower and the load." Yeah. yeah, and basically the the wise men and all the advisor counselor they say, "Ah, um, yeah, that's right." Just you do should it. do what they, they will, said. They will be faithful. Mm. But uh, he didn't listen. No. He didn't listen to the elder. He yeah. just listened to his friends. friends yeah. And then his friend gave him a very bad, bad advice. advice. Yeah. And like, hey, maybe raise the tax, you know. Mm. And then he did. And that's a split of the country. So yes. it's not a good ending. Yes, the story. it's not a good ending. Yeah. That's why sometimes, you know, the old advisors are wiser. Yeah. than our peers therefore we need to have that uh, tuning our heart tuning our listening ear to listen yeah. that, that is so important that's why the bible clearly talk about honoring your parents is so important because when you honor your parents there's attached there's a promise to it which yeah. is a long life in long a life. promised land yeah i believe chinese people are uh you know the example you mm. know they may not know the lord But when they obey their parents, like they even worship their parents, mm. and because of that, uh, most most Chinese people they they live long life and they are successful in life. Mm. And because you know they mean not necessarily a Christians or yeah. believer, but because you know they honor their parents yes. and they suddenly benefit from that. Yes, and, exactly. Uh, it's not just uh, Old Testament, right? Mm. It's a New Testament. It's thing in the as New well. Testament as well. Yeah. It's in Ephesians chapter six, verse one to three. When you read through it, it's the same thing it talks about children obey your parents in the Lord for this is right honor yeah. your father and mother which is the first commandment with a promise so that it may go well with you and you may enjoy long life on the earth that yeah. is the promise of God so an honoring thing they maybe you might have your parents that is not good to you maybe you might have abusive um, parents you, you you have you upbringing was really bad but the right thing to do is honor them Yes. Yeah, in, in because they are still your parents in, yeah, in the end. True. Therefore, I know whatever situation, whatever bad experiences you have with your parents, you know God knows as well. But please show your honor, please show your your respect to God because yeah. there is a promise with God, which is a right. long life in the earth. Yeah. Yes. So, so the second two. one. Yeah. Uh, it's more deeper, isn't it? Yeah. All <laughs> I of hope those. you guys are doing well. Yeah, I yeah. hope so. Let us know. Yes, and so, yes. Um, Yeah, so Second two one. is the honor those who are in authority. authority. Yeah, yes. authority. So this is a hard one, especially the authorities are not doing the right thing. Yeah. But uh, the Bible is very clear about that too. So let let's let's uh, listen to this. Romans chapter 13 verse 7. Uh, so the whole chapter 13 is about honoring, you know, give your honor to authority. So give to everyone what you owe them. No, give to everyone what you owe them. If you owe taxes, pay taxes. If if revenue, then revenue. If respect, then respect. If honor, then honor. Wow. Notice this. Mm. In this this verse, clearly uh, differentiate respect and honor. Wow. So mm. I, I will explain you. I have a very great quote from Pastor Craig Groshaw. He said. Is respect that people have to earn. Mm. Honor is a gift that you give freely, right? Yes. So it's a respect that people have to learn. Mm. Honor is a gift that you give freely. 
Wow. Right? That so, means you, you give honor to everyone. It right, doesn't freely. matter what they do. It doesn't yes. matter. And you may have a different view. Yeah, they might need to earn yeah. your respect. You yes. know, respect. But honor is you giving or you honoring the position. Like, yeah. The great example would be like a person like a uh, traffic police. You yeah. know, he's yeah. wearing a uniform and he's at the uh, crossroad and a lot of cars and every traffic's going on. Yeah. He has a little thing called whistle and he will blow the whistle and cars are you know stopped you know it's not because he has a magic power it's no. not because he has you know like human power because he's wearing that uniform mm -hmm. give him the ability authority, authority. Yeah. Yeah. and so because of that yeah. cars stop because of the they honor the authority yes. right yes. so some people don't honor the authority no you know why we know that they run the traffic right <laughs> so red lights or something yeah. when you drive through the uh, red light do you know what you get fine you know yes. you get fine for it you get points yeah. for it yeah. you, you may lose the uh, uh, driver license for mm -hmm. that so it's good to honor the authority exactly right? yes so, yeah. yeah there's there's a good example it's at the moment in america you know president donald trump like he, he, he the way he said things is <laughs> very um unpleasant and in some words yeah. yeah but he has the authority he has a position that god has placed him as a president therefore yeah. we need to show honor we yeah. need to show respect to him so yeah. that is a great example I, yeah, yeah i remember the story i heard uh, from a pastor that um, that was back in you know president president uh, bush okay and um and and he was sitting with someone that day yeah and that person didn't like president bush oh. and he was complaining on and on and on and on and and that moment and uh the president walked in the music play everyone's <laughs> like stood up stood up on their feet and then the president walked into the room and that person started to cry and wow. he was like yeah america <laughs> a moment ago he was complaining you know he didn't like you know but i think that moment mm. he realized that he needs to honor the position yeah he needs to honor the authority yes. Yes. you know wow, not so just good. a person yes. or not just a policy yes but the purpose mm -hmm. and the position that i think that's so what good. we try to do yeah all right so yeah. like um burmese people we we lost you know the giving honor to our authority because they, they were really bad you mm. know back home they yeah you know they they are military power and they they force people to do things that we don't want and yeah. because of that we kind of have that rebellious spirit right yeah true. so that's yeah. if we don't deal with that i think that would be a problem you yes. know like we, yeah. we complain and knowingly, so much and knowingly yes. it can be a problem it, it, same thing it happened with me actually mm. you know uh, when i moved when i came in australia i was talking to my friend in school and yeah i talk about you know how bad our government is back home and all these things and then she was listening to me yeah. and then she handed me the next time when we meet her again she hand, handed me the book yeah. which book is the uh, that changed my life on the right. view on um, the authority so that book we call honest reward by pastor john vivia yeah. so when she handed me that book she said please read this book and when i read it i re i ch changed my mind about the right. authority and you know the people that has governed over us Yes. Yeah, they may not be good, they may not be right, but in the end of the day, you know, um, where we need to give honor to where honor is due. You yeah. know, like we may have a different opinion, we may have a different background, we may, we may have a different opinion, says, but in the end of the day, honoring is the right thing to do. I know that sounds really, it, it may sound really harsh on someone people's ears nowadays yeah. because you know they, they don't have the right to say this they don't have the right right there's a lot of right things but in the end of the day we're going to have to stand on the word of god what yeah. the word of god say we need to follow that's yeah. what is the message for today yes yeah. true so what is the next next one honor leaders and pastors all right that's that's i like that one yeah yes it's important okay <laughs> so as as a pastor ourselves we still need to honor other pastors yeah and we still need to honor our leaders right Correct. So yes. that's important it's like a to me it's like a sowing seed you mm -hmm. know like if you dishonor if you sow a dishonor seed you You're are going reap. to reap that yeah. seed all right yeah. so it's like you know sowing and reaping the yes. principle of sowing and reaping yeah. so young people right now you might be 
unknowingly or unintentionally mm. sowing the seeds of dishonor, mm. like by you know showing dishonor to your parents or your teachers, or one day I pray that you will reap that, you mm. know, the the harvest, mm. and because that's so super important, you yeah. know, it's it's, a, it's it's we don't aware of that. I need to warn you, mm -hmm. and it's very important in my life. You know, I I sow many dishonor seeds, right, yeah. and then. One day, of course, I read that you know mm. some people just show their dis dis dishonoring mm. you know behavior towards us, and yeah. when we feel when we see that we 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 felt so bad, right? Yeah, but correct. because I'm sure you know uh, many many years ago. Pastors may felt that mm. you know yeah. coming from us. Correct. So, yes, that's, that's why important. it is so important to show honor to our pastor, our leaders. It is so important. If you if you have a teacher, show honor to your teacher in your school. If you have a you know a coach, show your honor yeah. to your coach. It is so important, guys. And yeah. I hope that whoever is watching right now is taking this seriously because yes. we are teaching a life changing message about honoring, and it is so important. Yeah, the yeah. Bible said about okay. that in First uh, Timothy chapter five, verse mm -hmm. seventeen. Listen to this: the elders who direct the affairs of the church. Well, are worthy of what? Double honor, okay? <laughs> not just one honor, double, double honor. honor. All right, especially Gee, those, those whose who work, work is whose work is preaching, preaching and, and teaching. teaching. In case you're wondering, that's us, okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> In case you're wondering, we are doing preaching and teaching. So the Bible said you need to double honor, mm. and not just single, mm. and double honor. All yes. right. So if you honor someone. Maybe you should yeah. honor even more. You Correct. Know? Yeah. So, so that's why it is. Just show honor, and you will never go wrong. That right. is our message. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So yes. the next one. Yeah, that's another Bible verse that I want to show you. Okay. And this this is oh. even better. Yeah. So Hebrew chapter thirteen verse seventeen. Obey your spiritual leaders. Okay, spiritual leaders, and do what they say. Their work is to watch over your souls, and they are accountable to God. Give them reason to do this with joy and not with sorrow. So don't make your pastor angry, okay? Don't <laughs> make your leaders, spiritual leaders, you know, feel sad, you know. And uh, that would suddenly not be for your benefit. benefit. Wow. You know, a lot of churches these days, especially in Burmese churches, mm. we see a lot of, a lot of, a lot of many, many, many pastors working not with joy, mm. but unfortunately with sadness mm. and sorrow because, yeah. you know, a lot of, a lot of uh, members try to control them. A lot of member, they just like, hey, do this, do this. We pay you money, you know. Like they treat them really bad, mm. you know. Like not not all the church, but many churches that we visited, yeah. pastor were crying and they mm. were they were really, you know, like yeah. opening up and and they 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 just in in you know like really bad situation. Yeah. And uh, I just need to warn you guys. That please, please, and uh, give honor to mm. pastors and leaders, and yeah. you know, double, yeah. double honor. How can you honor? As simple as saying thank you, thank yeah. you for the sermon today. I'm yes. very blessed. As simple as that, simple language, simple sentence can change their heart. Yes. You know, or when you see someone leading you, when you see someone leading on the worship team, yeah. you can just say thank you for serving God. Yes. We are so blessed. As simple as that is showing honor. Okay, so it's not like when you when you talk about honor, like you know, it's a big thing. Oh, we have to change everything that I was thinking. Yeah. No, one thing at a time, little by little. Yes. So that is so important. Okay, thank you guys. So much. Yes. yes. All right. So. This Number is four is the most probably important. Probably the most important thing. Yes. And uh, we we left this at the end because yeah. it's very important. Yes. And you know we talk about honoring parents, we talk about honoring authority, mm. and we talk about honoring uh, leaders and pastor. Yeah. But if you don't do number four, one, two, three, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Yeah. All right. Exactly. So honor start. You know where honor is due. 
And I think this is super important that we need to honor God. Mm. So honoring God is the very first thing. Other things will follow yes, along the way. Exactly. And I don't care whether you honoring your parents or your leaders or pastors or whoever. But if you don't honor God, your life will not be blessed. For, mm. You know, yeah. and that's that's very important. Yeah. So, in other words, the same thing. Like when you honor God, you automatically honoring all those above that we mentioned as well. Like when you when you love God and when you want to serve God, when you honor God, automatically you honor your parents. Automatically mm. you honor the leadership of the church or yeah. the authority. You, that is the automatic thing. Yeah. That's why honoring God is so important. So Psalm twenty two. Yeah. Uh, verse 23 it says you who fear the Lord praise him all you descendants of Jacob honor him reverence him all you descendants of Israel, Israel. so Amen. honor him reverence him so basically reverence means respect give him thanks uh, give adoration hmm. so give praise yeah so that's very important yes. but unfortunately this is what happened Hmm. This society, oh. this age, hmm. this is the time of the end. Hmm. You know that the sign of the end time is so, so, yeah. so, 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 so this evidence, evidence. Yeah. So, in the end time, this is what happened. People would not listen to their parents. People would not listen to their uh, authority. People will not honor spiritual leaders. Hmm. Look at America. What's happening? It's, it's so sad that this country, it, the, the constitution, the founding father, mm. they, they were grounded, you know, they, they grounded their, their constitution and all those yeah. in the word of God, the Bible, mm. right? They know the Lord, they know God, and they try everything, God, like everything possible that in godly way. And but unfortunately, this... The, the society shifted. They tried to change law. They tried to do things against the mm. Word of God, against the Bible, against the truth. What happened? It's not going to be good for America. Okay, yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. It's, it's because this is what happened. And God really feels sad. The reason is this. A lot of people still go to church, but this is what happened. The Bible is so clear. It said, Isaiah 29 verse 13, these people come near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips. Basically, they are giving lip service. They say, I love you, Lord. I respect you, Lord. But their hearts are far from me. Their hearts are far from me. Mm. This is God is saying, look, yeah. you guys honor me with your lips. Basically, you are giving me a lip service, mm. not with your heart. Yeah. So tonight, it's your turn. Yes. So, I'm, we're going to conclude the message with this. Your turn to live a life of honor. Yeah. How do you do that? Oh. Very simple. Very simple. You start honoring your parents. You start honoring your boss, your workplace co co colleagues. Yeah, you, true. You yes. start honoring them. Yeah. Doesn't matter you don't agree with, you know, certain things. Yeah. Doesn't mean that. You just honor their position, mm. okay? You, they, they may be, they may not be as, as, you know, as good as you, or they may not know things like you do, but it doesn't mean that you should dishonor them, exactly. okay? Yes. So honor is giving free, okay? Yes. So yeah. we need to. Yeah, and the Bible talk about it. I have a little note here. Yeah. How do we honor? And it's so important, Proverbs, Three for Proverbs chapter three verse nine. It says, "Honor the Lord with your wealth, and with the first fruits of all your produce." So that's how you can honor God as well. Basically, mean yeah. you honor with money. Yeah, your finance. Like yeah, tithing. Your time as well. Your yeah. service. So you give time yeah. for God. Exactly. You give offering yes. money to yeah. the Lord. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's how that, you do that, it. That is where you start first. It is so important because when you when we talk about honor it's a big subject, but we want you guys to think of it as simple as starting from, you know, your home. 
Yeah. Simple as that. Starting from just honoring little by little, and it will become bigger. Okay. What else? What else? Okay. The other thing is First Corinthians chapter three verse sixteen. It does say that. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? That basically means that you can honor your God with your body. Your te- this is a temple of God. You yeah. can. You, you don't own yourself. Yeah, you know that's so, that's one of the reason I never have a tattoo. Okay, yeah. so for those who have a tattoo, I still love you, and but I want to honor the Lord with my body. Mm. I mean, this is a temple of the Holy Spirit, mm. and I personally not going to get any. You know tattoos. You know when I was young, I tried to try to draw a, a it's like a, a, a watch. You know, <laughs> like here and with a pen. And my mom's like disciplined me right there. Yeah. And she said, "This is not your body, but this is the body of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Respect that. Mm. Honor that." Mm. Since then, you know, a lot of my friends, you know, they have tattoos, and I, I don't judge them. Okay. Yeah. But this is a. You know, wh- yeah. whatever. You, this is the next level that yeah. we're talking about. Yeah, okay? so You're not gonna go to hell for having tattoo, <laughs> but the thing is that just honoring. Yeah. You know, that is the one, the message that we want to give you. And the other Bible verse that I want to mention is First Samuel chapter two, verse thirty. It's talk about Prophet Eli's family. The Lord said, "Therefore, the Lord, the God of Israel, declares: I promise that your house and the house of your father should go in and out before me forever. But now, the Lord declares: Far be it." From me, for those who honor me, I will honor, and those who despise me shall be lightly esteemed. Yeah, God so, is saying, if you mm-hmm. honor me, I will honor you. But if yeah. you don't honor me, there will be a problem. Yeah, basically. I will honor you. Yes. Yeah, basically, I will honor you. Yeah. So by honoring God, you know, the Creator of the universe, mm. and think about it, the person that makes everything that we see happen. Will honor you. Yeah, I think it's amazing. it's gonna start with a relationship with knowing the Lord. Yeah, and if you are listening right now, if you don't know, I myself maybe I don't honor mm. as much as I do. I do need to honor people. Start with the Lord. Amen. Start with Jesus. Amen. All right. So it is like this, and uh, there are times that we see um, a football. That was signed by a very famous, famous player that went on sale, and that sell for millions of dollars. But it's the same football. The other one did not have the signature, and does not worth exactly the same. Mm. Like right now, and uh, I, I love the guitarist called Van Halen, and he he passed away a few a few weeks ago. Yeah. Now everything that he signed mm. is gonna value even more yeah. because of his signature. Mm. And yeah. when God said, "You are my temple," basically mm. mean God put a signature on you. You are so valuable. Yes, you need to know that. Yes, and people may say you are stupid, you are idiot. No, don't accept that. You are not. Mm. You are the child of God. Okay, mm. Mm. you are the apple of God's eye. Amen. You are wonderful. You are amazing. Amen. That's what you are. Amen. You are called. You are chosen, and you need to start honoring God from now on. Mm. Sometimes we don't honor ourselves, and we think it's okay. You know, maybe my what my you know other people say to me over my life. It may be true. That's why I'm not going to. You know, do anything different. I, I'm just an ordinary. I'm just a common people. No, you are very special. Mm-hmm. God sees you so special. Mm-hmm. That's why He gives you a identity. Your thumbprint and your eye print is not the same. And mm-hmm. looks at it. This is the area. It's so small. Yeah. But you know what? You are one of seven billion people. You mm-hmm. are one. You cannot find another you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. This is so important, and tonight you need to say, "Lord, I'm so sorry. I dishonor parents. I dishonor you. I dishonor authority. I dishonor people, pastors and leaders in my life. Lord, I'm so sorry, and I want to make it up to you. Mm-hmm. If that's you, we want to pray for you. If yes. that's you, why don't you just lift your hands up right now? If mm-hmm. that's you, yes, we just want to pray for you. Yes, all right. Yes. So." Can I pray for you? Can we pray for you? 
Yes. Amen. Amen. I know most of you listening right now that being led by the Holy Spirit, your life, you say bad things to your parents, bad things to your your siblings, your family members, or maybe authority or pastors and leader. Yeah. But now you want to start a new start again and fresh life again. Yeah. If you, you are that person, why don't we pray together? I'm going to pray. I'm going to lead you in a prayer. Yeah. Why don't you pray? Repeat after me. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I dishonor you. I dishonor you. I dishonor parents. I dishonor parents. I dishonor pastors and leaders. I dishonor pastors and leaders. I dishonor authorities. I dishonor authority. And I dishonor the creator of the universe. And I dishonor the creator of the universe. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I want to have a new start again. I want to have a new start again. A fresh life again. A fresh life again. Father God. Father God. Today, today, I choose to honor you. I choose to honor you, Son of God. Son of God. Today, today, I choose to honor you. I choose to honor you, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit of God. I choose to honor you. I choose to honor you today. Today, I say yes to Jesus. I say yes to Jesus. I say yes to your forgiveness. I say yes to your forgiveness. I say yes to the cross. I say yes to the cross. Make me new today, Lord. Make me new today, Lord. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. Guide me. Guide me into your righteousness. Into your righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. We pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, everyone, for your time. And if you pray this prayer, please let us know, and we would love to welcome you. Yeah, it's gonna yes. be. Yeah. We so, want to welcome you into the family. And uh, hey, if you fail to honor someone, don't feel bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't beat yourself up. Yeah. You know why? I'm going to give you the final passage that we have it tonight. This is what you sh we should be doing. Romans 12, 10 said, Love, Love one, one another, another with, with brotherly, brotherly affection. affection. I'll do one, one another, another in showing honor. honor. I'll do basically me. Hey, I need to do honor better. Pastor Mercy. And Pastor Mercy going to honor me. But we're going to outdo each other. Amen? Yes, yes. Why don't you? There's a competition. Yes, there's a competition. <laughs> we're going to outdo <laughs> honoring other people. Yes, yes, we are going to honor. We're going to change yes. our generation by honoring everyone around Why don't you put a comment say, I'm going to outdo someone <laughs> in showing honor. Okay, outdo one another in showing, showing honor. honor. So you, you're going to say, I'm going to outdo <laughs> in showing honor, okay? Yes. Just do that, yes. all right? Yeah. <laughs> I think God is pleased with us. Yes. And this is probably one of the very important, important message. message, yeah. messages that we could ever mm. uh, teach you. We learn yeah. so much ourselves. Yeah. And we have we pray that prayer with you as well, okay? Yes. So yes. we love you. And uh, yeah. So yeah. we're going to have some um, poll question. Um, set up in Facebook page and let us know um, which time and which you know schedule that you want you would yes. like us to you know um, go forward just let us know okay so whether we're gonna, whether we're gonna do zoom meeting or we're gonna do this or live teaching or change of time everything we're gonna do a poll yes. um, yeah so we will let you know um, what we're gonna do next, okay? Yes. So stay tuned. Yeah, I'm going to that do in showing honor, right? Yeah. I'm going to do out to one another in showing honor. Thank you yeah. so much. Yes, this is very important. Yeah. All right. Let's so. change our generation. Amen. You know, in the world right now, people are showing very disrespectful things to each other, to neighbors. Yeah. You know, but as the children of God, we're gonna show honor. We're gonna change our generation. Every single one of us here right now, we're gonna change our generation by showing honor to everyone that is due to be honored. Okay, that is what we're gonna do. That is the message that we want to send you tonight. So we're gonna start from showing honor to our parents 
to our leaders, yeah. to our authority, yeah. to our government, s yes. and also finally, and the most important is showing honor to God. Amen. Amen. Can Amen. we pray for you for this week? And yes. we're gonna call it a day, eh? Yes. Okay. So, Father God, we thank you so much for yes, tonight. Lord, thank you thank so you much that uh, this Lord. very important lesson has been learned tonight. Mm. And Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit, you will guide these words in in people's heart, yes, and Lord. when they show honor, Lord, help them and and. That will please you, Lord. We Amen. believe that, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We pray yes, Lord. for uh, uh, people, young people that are going back to school tomorrow, Lord. Give them favor Amen. and your protection, yes, and they will do well in school, mm. and they will start practicing uh, the lesson that they learned today, Lord. Amen. Showing honor to parents, yes, teachers, well, pastors, Lord. and authority, Lord. Amen. Lord, thank you so much, and uh, Lord, until next time. Uh, Bless us, and guide us, and protect us. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And everyone said together, Amen. 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 Final thoughts? Anything? Show honor. Yes. That's that's the message. Show honor. Thank you so much. We hope that you enjoyed the message. If you are blessed by this message, please like and share. If you want to know more about our ministry, please come and visit us at our website, m y a n m a r w o r s h i p c o m and also all of our social media platforms such as m y a n m a r w o r s h i p YouTube channel, m y a n m a r w o r s h i p Facebook page, and Instagram. And if you are blessed by this message, please consider to give to the ministry so that we can reach out to more people. Thank you so much again for joining us today, and we hope to see you again next. Time. Until then, God bless you all.